When the Pilgrims finally reached America, not only were they really late, but they were in the wrong place. They had landed far to the north of Virginia. This was a big deal because this was not where the land patent stated they were to settle, and it meant that winter would soon be upon them, and they were low on food and supplies. Before disembarking, the Pilgrims would sign the Mayflower Compact. The Pilgrims knew that some earlier settlements in the New World had failed due to the lack of government. The Mayflower Compact was a social contract in the form of a sacred covenant sworn before God in which the settlers stated their purpose for coming and consented to follow the rules and regulations of the government for the sake of survival. The government, in return, would derive its power from the consent of the governed. The short little agreement is often referred to as the very foundation of the Constitution of the United States and a cornerstone of American government. Future U.S. President John Quincy Adams, who also had ancestors on the Mayflower, would later describe the Mayflower Compact as the only instance in human history of that positive, original social compact. A compact that many believed to be the only legitimate source of government. Some modern textbooks have stripped out the compact's sacred language in order to be politically correct. Find an unaltered copy and read it. While you're at it, read the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution, but we'll learn more about those later in this series.